domestication is an evolutionary, rather than a political, development. They were more likely to survive and prosper in an alliance with humans than on their own. Humans provided the animals with food and protection, in exchange for which the animals provided the humans their milk and eggs and their flesh. Akimbo, this must be one of the odder looking words in the language and puzzles us in part because it doesn't seem to have any what's more, it is now virtually a fossil word, until recently almost invariably found in arms akimbo, a posture in which a person stands with hands on hips and elbows sharply bent outward, one that signals impatience, hostility or contempt. The problem begins with the alphabet itself, building a spelling system for English using letters that come from Latin. Despite the two languages not sharing exactly the same set of sounds, is like building a playroom using an IKEA office set.
modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate. In the photo, the wildcat's huge paws are clamped onto the side of the white safari jeep in which Chappelle was a passenger. Almost as tall as the jeep on her hind legs, she appears to be forcing her muzzle into the back window. The Office of Personnel Management was the target of the attack, but data from nearly every government agency was stolen. U.S. investigators say they believe Chinese hackers were behind the breach.
Global warming is defined as an increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This trend began in the middle of the 20th century and is one of the major environmental concerns of scientists and governmental officials worldwide. The changes in temperature result mostly from the effect of increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. As far as politics go, the responses are just as varied. Mitigation is common and calls for a reduction of emissions and less reliance on fossil fuels. Coal-burning power plants are now replaced with hydraulic power plants and electrical cars are replacing some gasoline-efficient cars. Many people, however, feel that this is not enough. The border itself between Mexico and United States is fraught with a mix of urban and desert terrain and spans over 1,900 miles. Both the uninhabited areas of the border and urban areas are where the most drug trafficking and illegal crossings take place. Crime is prevalent in urban cities like El Paso, Texas and San Diego, California.
Free trade is an economic policy under which the government does not interfere with trade. No tariffs are applied to imports or exports, and people are allowed to trade goods and services as they please. Supply and demand dictates the prices for which goods and services sell and are the only factors that determine how resources are allocated in society. Unlike the United Kingdom, which has taken a relatively restrictive approach to the possession of arms, the United States has taken a more lenient approach. In the United States, three models have evolved regarding the interpretation of the meaning of the right to bear and keep arms as delineated in the Second Amendment. Trade unions originated in Europe during the Industrial Revolution. Because of the machinery that had become commonplace, skilled labor became less in demand so employers had nearly all of the bargaining power. Employers mistreated the workers and paid them too little for the work they did. Trade unions were organized that would help in the improvement of working conditions. Unions take the power out of the employer's hands on many issues. 
There are examples of cases where workers were engaging in sexual or racial harassment, but were protected by their unions and allowed to keep their jobs. Poor workers and excellent workers often received the same pay and raises, giving no reason for a person to work harder than necessary at their job.